guys, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I am doing a product review on the new NYX Cosmetics Total Drop Control Foundation. So NYX recently launched their new store, the first exclusive store actually in Mumbai it, in Orbit Mall. So yesterday was Eid, so I was busy the entire day and in the evening I went and got my hands on the foundation. The store is so beautiful, it's so beautiful. It's like a makeup wonderland and I'm so glad I didn't carry extra cash with me. And I had friends waiting outside for me to just grab my foundation and go out again. So I could not spend a lot of time over there. Uh, but yes, I got my hands on the new foundation. It is right here in my bag. I've not even opened it. Um, so before I get into this video, I just want to mention that this is not sponsored by NYX and uh, NYX hasn't even said this to me. You can see that I have actually gone and purchased this. I was just very, very excited for this launch. A lot of brands have been coming out with a lot of new stuff, but I was personally most excited for this foundation. So, uh, first impression when I saw this foundation, actually I was really disappointed because like I've seen reviews, I've not seen any videos but I've seen the images for this foundation and it looked a lot bigger than this. Can you see how small this is? Like, it's so tiny. It's just 15 ml. So I was kind of like, uh, should I buy it before I got the foundation but since I was so excited and that was my main intention be be behind going to the next store. I was like, you know what, I'll just get it. I'll do my review and uh, let's see how this works. So I got my perfect shade. I tried my shade and I'm in the shade Golden Honey, which is not mentioned on the packaging. Um, it's number 14. So if you're like my skin tone or anything, oh, by the way, my skin is so bad right now. Can you see? I'm like breaking out because of all I have cystic acne like hormonal cystic acne and they are very like this one right here is hurting it's irritating me but I'm just gonna live with it so what the packaging says is with just a few drops our total control drop foundation delivers sheer to full coverage and a velvety matte finish so not like completely matte and not full coverage sheer to full so maybe it's buildable don't know Simply adjust the number of drops you use until the desired level of coverage is achieved. More drops is more coverage. Okay, yes. Yeah, I'm in Golden Honey Drop Foundation. It's mentioned over here. And uh, yes, so it's written like over here. If you put like two drops, can you see? Two drops is light coverage, three drops is medium coverage and four drops plus would be full coverage. So let's see what I'm going for. Um, this is the bottle. Can you see? It's so tiny. It's so so tiny. Like, uh, it's 15 ml, priced at 12.50 bucks. It's this small. By the way, I have mainly on my hands because it was Eid yesterday. Not like I did anything on the intro. Just say. Uh, so I love the packaging. Actually, it is like this tiny cute bottle. I wish it was a bit bigger, but anyway, it is so cute. And it comes with a dropper so like you can get that Instagram uh, beauty vlog kind of effect Like the Instagram gurus, I don't know how it's gonna go for me But I don't think this is travel friendly at all Like I would not carry this outside anywhere because I'm so scared it'll break So before I blabber away too much, let's get into this foundation I'll do half my face with a brush and half my face with a beauty blender So we can see the finishes both ways on what performs well with this foundation and um, I will wear this, I have a full day, I have worked throughout the day I guess, I'm going here and there so I'll keep my makeup on throughout the day and check in at the end of the day seeing how this foundation lasted for me throughout the day. So we'll go for full coverage hopefully because my skin isn't the best. Okay I've moisturized my skin so I'll go in with a primer, I'm using my Lacme Absolute Blur Perfect because too many acne. I don't know how many times I'll say that in this video, but yeah. Okay, so let's get started. I'm opening this up and... Oh my god, I'm so scared. So I've put like five drops and I'm taking my damn beauty blender and blending.
it's blending really easily guys I put 5 drops so as you can see it is full coverage all my scars, my redness, everything is gone I don't put foundation on my eyelids, I cover it with a concealer and I'm not going too close to my eyes because I will apply concealer to it I think the beauty blender would be the best way to use this foundation but we will go in for half the face with a brush and see how it works but it's blended like literally so well it's very liquidy as you saw can you see the power of makeup full coverage uh, it was very liquidy as you saw it's in a drop format so 5 drops and full coverage I'm so happy if a foundation does not perform well, it really upsets me because your base needs to be right. Whatever you apply on top of your base is can be anyhow and you can work around with it but your base has to be perfect. So I've blended this side of my face with a beauty blender. Let's go in this side with my brush and let's see how that performs. We'll take the same amount of foundation of course. So I'm using my round and which I dropped, not the foundation, the brush. Okay, so this side I'm using this round angular brush from Amazon and uh, so scared again. I'm gonna be so scared when using this. It's applying very streakily with the brush. I don't think brushes are a way to apply this foundation at all. Although the guy at NYX had like their own NYX brush and that's how he applied it to my skin. But can you tell the streaky finish over here and the smooth finish over here? It took me two minutes to blend this foundation and it's set completely matte but this one's taking time. Let's try blending a little more. So I think I really like the finish of a beauty blender over a brush if you cannot tell my, I have a lot of texture on my skin generally and this could like the blemishes got hidden in like a fraction of a second because the beauty blender takes up all excess product so the brush doesn't do that so the excess product is kind of like sinking in my pits and textures and emphasizing them even more while this side looks a lot more flawless this doesn't so I'll just go over this side with my beauty blender and let the foundation sink in. Yes, I think I love this foundation with the beauty blender. So I would personally advise you guys to, use, if you're using this foundation, use this with a beauty blender. Up till now, I really like it. It's holding up to its word. It is a velvet matte finish. It's set completely matte actually. But it has like this shine to it and like you all can see so it's not looking very drying and not emphasizing my texture. I have texture, it will be seen but it's not like sinking in the texture so I'm loving that. And full coverage because I use the amount they said for full coverage so yes. Now let's see how the other products perform on this. I'll do my full face of makeup, my concealer, my compact, my blush, bronzer and everything and then get back to you guys and tell you all how the other products performed on this foundation till now I have really high hopes and it's living up to it so yes so guys I think I really like this foundation I completed my full face of makeup I applied all my holy grail products my LA Girl concealer my L'Oreal powder and all the makeup I generally apply and everything just glided on perfectly I didn't face any problem and then when I looked at my face in the mirror as soon as I got up from filming it looked so flawless I love it and the best part is it does not feel like cakey or like I love my MAC foundation and usually whenever I have to compare a foundation I compare it to my MAC Studio Fix because I absolutely love that foundation but even my MAC feels a little heavy on the skin after I've like done a full coverage makeup this, although I've used 5 drops since it's so liquidy, it does not feel heavy on my skin at all. It feels very light and it's giving me a beautiful finish. 
um, I'm just gonna wait throughout the days. I already have a little creasing over here if you all can't see but that's with all the foundation. My laugh lines are very prominent so foundation generally tends to crease over here which is already happening with this one. The MAC usually takes a little while and then it starts creasing but it always does. So if you can't see it's in this area like it's creasing but nothing that a little tap can't help. Yeah. So I'm just gonna wear my makeup throughout the day, go run my errands, meet my friends and all of that and then I like, what is the time right now? It is 2.37 so yeah 2.30 so I think around 6.30 I should be back home and then that's when I'll take off my makeup because I don't wear my makeup more than 5 hours at least. So maybe after 5 hours I'll check you guys in, see how the makeup stayed. I'll go get done with my day and then check you guys in. Bye! Hi guys, so it's officially 7.30 p.m. and I've had this foundation on for a total of 5 hours. I went to my grandmom's place, we had amazing barbecue for lunch and that's why I had no lipstick on because I ate tandoori chicken like a savage. And then I slept and I sleep like a koala bear. I hug humans and teddy bears and all and sleep and I'm in love with this foundation. It did not transfer anywhere. Like even with my MAC foundation when I'm like hugging clothes or something it will like transfer to my clothes or whatever. Although it has like kind of subtled down on the coverage. It is not that full coverage as it was at the beginning of the day. It's sheared down but it felt so lightweight throughout the day. It didn't feel like I was wearing makeup at all and I'm not even kidding. I hate that heavy feeling. That's why I get rid of my foundation very quickly in the day. I don't keep it on for so long, not even five hours, but I did keep it on and I know the lighting is bad because I don't have artificial lighting to show you all how it looks, but it's only like creased here. That too, not that bad, as bad as my other foundations get. Even MAC for that matter gets that bad around my mouth area because I have prominent laugh lines. This foundation is... Can I zoom you guys in? Let's see. Can you see? The coverage has sheared down but it's in place. I sweat, I slept, I ate, I did everything, everything and it's not come off. So it's a big thumbs up. I am in love with this foundation and you're gonna see me use it in a lot of other tutorials now because I'm so glad I purchased it. It was so small so it was hurting my pocket to purchase it but if the formula is right I think it's amazing so it gets a big thumbs up from me. I hope it works out for a lot of other skin tones and types. There are amazing uh, variety. It's a wide range of um, what do you say shades. So it, you will find a match for yourself. So go to the store, if not online. Oh, it's of course available on Nykaa, but I would prefer you to go to the store and pick out your correct shade. The people over there will definitely help you. The people are very nice at the next store. So they'll help you pick your right shade. And then if you want, you can invest in this foundation. It's really damn good. Yes, so I think that's it for today's video. So if you like this video, please hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel. I make videos every Saturday. Sometimes I get a little late. But I try to keep on schedule always. And hit the, um, you know, click on the ring over there. So that you get my notifications every week. That's all for today. Bye.